Hello, today we are going to create this game where there's a cat dancing on the screen. So first, let's open our browser to scratch.mit.edu. We log in and we are ready to create a new game. So I want to give, give this new game a title, a dancing cat. And as we explained before, on the left are all the things we can do in our games. In the center is where we put our code. And on the right is how the game looks like. Let's focus on the blue color motion first. Motion meaning anything that is related to movement. We already have a cat here, so that's good. The first comma here is move. Move 10 steps. Now we're not sure how far or how short 10 steps is. So let's click here. You can see 10 steps is just a little bit. So I, if I want the cat to move further, I'll change 10 to 50. Let's try 50. Okay, 50 seems good. So let's drag the cat back. So every time if I click here, the cat will move 50 steps. I want the cat to move, they turn back, move the opposite direction, then turn back to move the other direction. So that's like dancing left and right. So how do we make the cat turn? This is turn how many degrees? We can change this to 180, right? So if I'm turning, um, if I'm going to the left, I turn 180, I should go to the right. Let's try. Move 50. Oh. The cat actually moves upside down, which is not what we want. Now how do we change that? Okay, here, scroll down here, you can see this set rotation style. That means how we want the cat to rotate. So put this in front. Okay, we have three options here, left and right, do not rotate, or all around. We want the cat to turn left and right, so we will choose left and right. Now let's try again. First, we need to make the cat stand properly. How to make it stand properly? Look at here, there's a direction. Okay, so now the cat is this direction. Let's turn this handle. And you can see, once the direction changed to 90, the cat is probably standing. <laughs> okay, so let's click the code again. Okay, so you can see, this time the cat turns left and right, which is just nice what we want. Okay, so the next thing, every time I click here, so, but there is a green flag here. What we can do is, we can go to events, this yellow color. Events, you can see the first one is, when green flag clicked, put it in front. So this means, when green flag is clicked, I'm going to let the cat rotate left and right. So the cat will move 50 steps before it turns 180 degrees. Now we can still click here. The code still works. The other way we can do is of course to click the green flag. So what's the benefit of adding this when green flag clicked? Once we add this, we can actually enlarge this area. Look at this button here. If I click this button, you can see the gaming area is much bigger. I can no longer see my code, but I can see everything happens on the screen more clearly. Now if we click the green flag, you can see the cat move and turn, move and turn. Okay, so now let's go back to make our code even better. So we'll click this button. It goes back. Okay. So for now, every time we click, the cat will move 50 steps and turn 180 degrees. Now, if you want the cat to dance, it should continue doing this, right? rather than move, turn, stop. Then move, turn, stop. It shouldn't be this way. It should be move, turn, move, turn, move, turn. That's dancing. Okay, so how can we do that? We go to control orange color control here click control you can see all the orange color commands so we can choose this what does this mean this means forever anything you put it 
in between, it will be repeated forever if I keep on doing it, keep on doing it. So what we can do is put it here. And this move and turn is what we want the cat to repeat. So we'll put drag this inside forever. And we'll drag forever here. Now let's try again. Click the green flag. Oh, you can see the cat keep on moving, turn, moving, turn, moving, turn. It's dancing, but it's too fast, right? It's, I feel my eyes hurt a bit. So let's press the red button. It will stop. So what should we do? We can make the cat move, turn, wait for maybe one second before it move and turn again. So how do we make it wait? Look at the control. First one is wait for one second. So we can drag this here. So this means when green flag is clicked, I want the cat to only turn left and right. And I'm going to repeat all these three forever. So I want the cat to move 50 steps, turn 180 degrees, wait for one second, then I'll repeat to move, turn, wait, move, turn, wait. Now let's try. Click the green flag. Move, turn, wait, right? This looks much better. It's more like the cat is dancing. Okay, so that's it for our first game, A Dancing Cat. In the next video, we're going to learn something more interesting. That means the cat will follow you.